do tornadoes really form? Well, that's an extremely wicked question, Charlie. You will need two water bottles, some tape, and some water. Okay, now you can get yourself a small water bottle and do this over your sink. But I'm going to show you how to make it bigger. Get yourself some water bottles. No, no, not, not, not a tiny water bottle. I'm talking about those massively huge big water bottles. Okay, get yourself one of these huge, massively huge water bottles. Uh, if you don't know where to get them, just, just head down to your local office place. It's amazing what you can get when you have the right ID. <laughs> okay, you're gonna take this and you're gonna fill it with water. I'm gonna grab a hose. Okay, get yourself that second massively huge water bottle. And you're gonna pop it on top, just like this. Then you're gonna get yourself some tape and you're gonna wrap it around, sealing the water in. Here we go. Get yourself a friend to help you flip this over and then give the top a spin. That is so cool! It's like the coolest, wicked coolest thing! It's like the old fashioned water bottle trick. It's just, it's in like a larger size and it's just, and it works and it's, it's like the cool thing you can have to see out there. It's like so cool! How do real tornadoes work? Well, don't look at me! Take a closer look at this. A tornado is an extreme rotating cloud column that extends from a thunderstorm that makes contact with the Earth. Many tornadoes, including the strongest ones, develop from a special type of thunderstorm known as a supercell. These supercells form when cold, dry air comes in contact with warm, moist air from the equator. Cold air is forced down quickly, creating an updraft of warm, moist air. Winds in a thunderstorm from different directions cause air to spin. When this rotating updraft interacts with a rotating column of air, it causes the column to bend. A current of cool air moves downward at the back of the storm, known as a downdraft. The speed of the downdraft increases and air plunges to the ground, where it fans out at speeds that can exceed 160 kilometers an hour. The U.S. has the highest number of tornadoes in the world, averaging about 800 per year, and Australia ranks second in tornado frequency. So now you know how tornadoes form. You know, making a large version of a water bottle tornado is why science is so cool.